Hello everyone. Today we're going to be learning about the formula for the arc length of a sector. To start off, let's remember that we know that a circle, one full circle, contains two pi radians. And on top of that, we know that radian, one radian, is when the arc length of a sector, that is this length here, of the curved portion is equal to the radius. All three lengths are the same. This might lead you to realize that, for example, in an angle of two radians, the arc length will be 2r and r and r because you are multiplying the, the length of the arc by 2, just as you're multiplying the angle by 2. It's like this radius here is tracing out twice of the turning of this radius. And so the line it leaves is twice as long, or two times the radius, when the first angle is just one radian. So take an angle with an unknown theta, for example, this angle, and I know this diagram is not accurate, but for the sake of math, just assume that these are equal lengths. Say this is x radians. That means you would expect the arc length to be x times the arc length of a single radian. And since a single radian has an arc length of r, you must know the arc length is xr. Now, our stated goal was to find a formula for the arc length that is the length of the curved portion in a sector, a sector being any kind of pizza slice of a circle. And realizing that we've just figured out the arc length for some unknown angle x radians using some unknown radius r, we know the arc length is xr. And since, of course, the unknown for angles is normally theta, this formula is often represented formally as L equals theta r. This is an important formula that is in topic 10a of the further pure syllabus, and you'll need to know this in an exam. If you ever forget this formula, you can remember the fact that the arc length scales proportionally linearly with the angle, and one radian has an arc length of one radius. That's why it's called a radian. And so theta radians will have an arc length of theta radiuses. Or, in other words, L is theta r. And you can use this to find the angle when you know the arc length and the radius, such as if you knew that this here was a 9 centimeter arc with a 3 centimeter radius. And you can find out what this angle is. I will leave you to do that. And on top of that, say you could find an arc length for half a circle. Just recall that a full circle is two pi radians and figure out this angle. And then using some information that I give you that the radius is four centimeters, figure out this arc length. And on top of that, you could also figure out 
the radius. Say you have a third of a circle. Again, I will let you figure out the angle here from the information that it's a third of a circle. And I'm going to tell you that the arc length is 4 pi centimeters. I want you to figure out the radius using this formula. So with those problems, I'll leave you to practice those. And in the next video, we're going to be going over how we got the area of the circle formula. We, you might know that it's pi r squared. This is taught in core mathematics as well. But what you might not know is how we actually get to this point. How do we know that the area is pi r squared? That is for next time. For now, thank you for watching.